Honestly, this is probably my best meal so far. I'm calling this dish Espoir Crudo. I would prefer Espoir du Ragu, but you know, want to try? Ah! Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvit. You know, right after I beat all the endings of My Sweet Housemate, I was just feeling sad, thinking, man, I am actually sad that I'm kind of done with this game. If only there was some more. And then I get an email that there's been a major update, like right as I finished recording the, vi the last video. So in the last episode, I got all the endings, but now there's, there's some more endings here. Here we go again. So, uh... If you haven't seen the last two uh, playthroughs of this game, you're desperate, absolutely desperate, to get off the streets and stop being homeless. And uh, your roommate that you have conveniently moved in with is a cannibal. And you come downstairs and he's got a some kind of movie prop on his table. But that's not a movie prop. It's a real human leg. Because he's a cannibal. He's going to eat you. Ah, cute. There's little... <laughs> there's little... There's new little drawings. These are so cute. Oh. <laughs> cute. Adorable. Is that a salt and pepper shaker? Ah, that's so cute. Oh, what were we looking for? So, the, why is that silica pack? It looks like it's got a jump out of it. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, knife. <laughs> That's a cool looking knife you got there, lady. For a moment, Alicia just stares at you. Uh, this old thing? Rodrigo gave me this because he thinks I like a pink character from a video game for toddlers. But just because I like a pink video game character does not automatically mean that pink is my favorite color. Now you seem more like an emerald green or like black and gold kind of lady. I, I mean, I don't like. God, I wish people wouldn't just assume things about me based on my interests. Not that I'm interested in it or anything. It's the tattoo she has. Pink is such a stupid color anyways. Why would I even like it? And just because I kept the knife doesn't mean I like it or appreciate it or anything. It's not like I have feelings. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, I hear you. Pop off, queen. Mm. You know, I was totally going to gut you and everything like two seconds ago, but... You listening to me like this is kind of sweet. I could really do with having more people around me who actually listen. Hmm. Alicia appears to pause in thought for a moment. Then she smiles. <gasps> Are we gonna become best friends? Ah, uh, what the heck. I could really use a little lap dog. Plus, you're cute, so that helps. Yeah, okay. I'm keeping you. Let me call the boys to pick us up and we'll go home, puppy. Ah, crap. What do you mean, Espo? I'm kind of alright with this outcome. I, I see I this, see this as an absolute win. win. Before the two of you leave together, Alicia takes a moment to call someone on her pink flip phone, still sat on top of you. Meanwhile, Sung Min's body lies lifeless beside you. His eyes do not move behind their lids. Aww. His blood seeps into every crevice of the cold floor beneath him. The last remnants of his warmth slowly fading away with each drop of blood that escapes his pale skin. F. F's in the chat. Chat! Rest in peace, Sung Min. And now that we know that he takes care of his family... Well, I mean, you know... Maybe he shouldn't be a cannibal, but <laughs> he's a cannibal that took care of his family. Only excuses it a little bit. <clears throat> Eventually, you're whisked away by Alicia, spirited away into her life of criminal activities. 
Is this going to end up with me in jail anyway? You learn that she's the head of a rather scary-looking organization. You're not entirely sure what it does, but the amount of blood, firearms, and money you see every day are all a good sign that you're better off not knowing. You're given a softer life, however kept by Alicia as some kind of human pet. Why do the pretty ladies in these VNs just want to put me in a cage? <laughs> Come on, can't we go shopping for dresses together and match? You become accustomed to Alicia referring to you as a good puppy. Oh, is this what the little dog icon meant? In fact, you can't even get her to call you by your actual name anymore. You're not even sure you remember it yourself. What was it again? I don't know, some French word that defined my struggles through depression? Each night you go to sleep in a newspaper padded crate on the floor beside Alicia's queen-sized bed. Couldn't even give me one of those, like, cushy dog beds? Ugh, you're cheap, lady. But hey, at least you'll never have to be homeless again. Unless something happens to your new owner. And it very well might. Oh. <laughs> Return to Alicia. You got an ending. My pet housemate. Adopted into a new home. Okay, I guess. Apartment of Horrors uncovered at 318 Williamson Street. Deceased alleged cannibal song Min Kim appears targeting successfully serial cannibals body found. Alright. Oh. Okay. Okay. It was just a gift, bro. Chill. Who... Who what? Asked. <laughs> I sure didn't. Classic espoir. She's got me down on the ground. She's got a knife at my neck and I'm still talking trash. <laughs> at least Rodrigo gave you a gift in the first place. You should be grateful, not venting to a total rando about it. Just tell him whatever your preferences are. Communication solves most issues if you just try. Yeah, that knife is going right in my forehead, ain't it? If you want to just vent without actually fixing any of your issues or relationships, that's what the internet is for, not my ears. <coughs> also, you're literally about to kill me. I don't want to be tortured before you do it. So, can we speed this up? <laughs> Give me the knife, I'll do it myself. <laughs> You! Just, how dare you! You listen while I talk, you insignificant pest! Skill issue! <laughs> Her knife plunges into your chest. Just look down at the, the hole in my chest. Mid. Once. Oh, okay. Twice. Ten times! <laughs> Now 20. Okay, okay, that's pretty, uh, what, what, what do the kids say? Goat. Need I remind you all that I am 38 years old? <laughs> My memes are from the early 2000s. Alicia stabs you with feverish anger. Listen, lady, you seem to have some misplaced anger that you're taking out on my poor chest. <laughs> Eventually, you lose count of how many times the blade rips your skin open. A few hectic moments of being overwhelmed with pain later, you finally start losing grip on your unconsciousness. This is really not what you expected your life to turn out like. It just started looking up for you, and now you're dying with a probably already dead cannibal by your side. Yeah, this is the playthrough where you choose to help her. Well... At least you're not alone. If you were still back on the streets, you probably would be. That thought brings you a weird sense of gratitude and peace in your last moments. Huh. <laughs> As I said before, she definitely returns food at uh, restaurants. Alright, lady. You know what? Forget you. <laughs> Forget you and your fancy... Jumpsuit. Does he have a different shirt? Help him cook. 
Well, it's not like Alicia was your friend or something. You have no qualms about helping Song Min cook her. At this point, you've already done far worse than cooking a person. Song Min takes his bloody apron off after carrying Alicia into the kitchen. It doesn't help make him look less scary, though as his exposed skin is practically drenched in her blood. Okay, boss, what are we cooking? <laughs> Human by chance, alpha by choice. Yeah, he definitely gets his shirts at a thrift shop or something. Cute! <laughs> you want some? No thanks! Oh, that's terrifying. Is that the picture I got after getting married to him? Concept art of female Song Min. Why did you pick Alicia specifically? Why did it have to be Alicia? She seems sweet. <coughs> well, for the most part. But why did you pick her specifically? I didn't. She was just there in the alley. Yeah, she was already covered in blood, fighting some other guys. I just thought she was an easy meal. That's still brutal, though. Hunting down bad people so you feel less bad being a cannibal. That's still brutal, though. They're just fellow human beings. You know, like me and you. It's not like they've done anything wrong. That look. That look says everything I need to know. Didn't you rent this room out of desperation? Not many people would stay with a cannibal they don't know. Unless they didn't have any other choice. Yeah, well, but still. Have you ever thought why you're in this situation in the first place? The system can't work without an oppressor and a victim. Which one do you think you are? Mm. Some food for thought, I guess. Ha, <laughs> I see what you did there. Bon appetit. Mm -mm. <laughs> Capitalism isn't that bad, you know. She lied. Um, actually... Ow. Capitalism isn't that bad. Our society wouldn't function without it. <laughs> Anyone can make it in this world if they try hard enough, like I did. It hurts me to lie this, this hard. I'm here now. I'm not sleeping on a park bench anymore because I pulled myself up by my bootstraps and actually worked hard to get here. Bro, are you serious right now, bro? Both me and Song Min and probably most of the audience are looking at in-game espoir like this. Homeless people still out there on the streets just have to do the same. You know what, Espoir, in this instance, I think you deserve to get eaten. It's just how the system has to work. Song Min stares daggers at you, as he should. He doesn't say anything for a good minute, making you feel gradually more uncomfortable. The silence is unsettling. Finally, he opens his mouth. <clears throat> Espoir. I like you. So I will just let this pass. But only this once. Well, it doesn't look like you can change his mind. <laughs> Sung Min's brow twitches, a red flag against his otherwise stoic face. You've really done it now. Is that so? What, you didn't like my little rap about how great capitalism is? <coughs> He calmly stands, straightening out the wrinkles in his t-shirt. He collects his plate of curry, obviously done with this interaction. Aww. Regardless, you continue. Uh-oh. I'm just saying anyone can make it if they try hard enough. Nobody has an inherent advantage over others. Some people just... Thank you. You feel harsh waves of pain overwhelm you as you see Sung Min's plate launch into your head. <laughs> the next moment, the world goes dark and you lose the grip on your consciousness. I fully understand. Uh. Oh. As your vision adjusts, you realize that you're still in the kitchen. What is that? Why does that look like an IV drip thing? You go to stand, 
finding yourself unable to do so. Oh, no! Your feet. Oh, no! You realize that you can't feel them anymore. Did he take my feet, or did he take my entire little gam-gams? Are my leggy-poos gone? Also, why do you have this? Not only are you unable to feel them, but looking down, you notice that they're completely missing. Along with your lower legs. Okay, so he did take my precious gam-gams. For some reason, you're calm. Your body feels fuzzy and warm. And the music's all distorted. The world around you doesn't feel threatening at all, despite your current state. <coughs> you go to wipe your face with your hands, finding yourself unable. The binds that hold your wrists to the chair that you're currently glued to pull against your skin as you do so, yet it does not hurt. This feels like a dream caked in mist. Suddenly, your housemate appears in the corner of your vision. He's in his work suit. How long were you out for? Is it gonna make me eat my own legs? Song Min, as I was saying about capitalism, I just keep going. Espoir. What's, uh... What's up, bro? <laughs> or more like, what's down, bro? Or more like, what isn't down, bro? <clears throat> He doesn't say anything. Instead, he slowly walks up to you. You know, I should be thanking you right now. You gave me the perfect opportunity to indulge in my cooking hobby. He gets on his knees in front of you. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably my best meal so far. I'm calling this dish Espoir Crudo. I would prefer espoir du ragu, but, you know, it's not a stew. Wait, espoir crudo? This... This isn't your meat, is it? Want to try? <laughs> Sung Min offers a forkful of meat towards you, an elated smile decorating his face. Eat? Don't eat? What are you gonna do if I don't eat it? What are you gonna do? What the fluff? Of course you're not going to eat yourself. I know what my diet is. Actually, what does a lot of sugar do to one's meat? I'm not going to think further on that. Panic floods your thoughts, slowly starting to pull you out of your dreamlike state. Oh, It's okay, Espoir. Just pretend it's movie props. <laughs> like I said before. Your teeth grit in resistance. Song Min's unoccupied fingers come towards your face. He pinches your nose shut. At first, you're fine. Staring defiantly at Song Min, your teeth remain tightly clocked together. Then, gradually, the urge for air creeps throughout your body. Your fingers clutch at the armrests of your seat. Your lungs begin to feel tight. Your ribs slowly feeling as if they're starting to close on you like a bear trap squeezing an animal. Sung Min ain't playing around. He's a humanist who eats humans. You struggle, trying to shake Sung Min off, but the exalted looking man continues to hold your nose firmly shut with little effort. You can't take it anymore. Your lungs burn. Your body feels like it's on fire. The chair is splintering from how tightly your nails are now embedded into it. You gasp. Sung Min takes the opportunity to shove a piece of your own flesh into your mouth. Gack. Gack. Cough. Wheeze. Erp. What do you think? I'm kind of horrified, but honestly, it tastes... pretty good. A wave of shame washes over you. Sung Min smiles. You horrible, adorable cannibal. See? That wasn't so bad, now was it? You took that pretty well in the past, too. Ah, 
I'm getting ahead of myself. You probably don't remember. The drugs I've been administering to keep you calm have that effect, unfortunately. Oh. It's very strong. What? How long have you been doing this to me? Hmm. About a week. A month. A year. What? It doesn't matter. But why? You know why. Well, to be honest, you were getting on my nerves. But you know, you were really a good housemate, so it would be a waste to just eat you. Mm. Just enjoy it, Espoir. Everything is under control. Oh no! Sung Min stands up and turns towards the IV bags dangling beside your chair. He seems to inject something into the drip. I think it's time for a nap. But don't worry, Espoir. I'll wake you up for dinner, okay? Just rest. Quickly, after he adds more medication to the drip and your eyes start to grow heavy... <coughs> the world around you swirls in a nauseating display of colors and sounds. Yet despite this, Song Min's voice is clear. I'll take care of you, Espoir. There won't be any more struggling now. For some weird reason, it brings you a foreign sense of comfort. You finally shut your eyes, more willingly than not. You're not sure what exactly is going to happen to you, but you feel certain that Song Min actually will take good care of you. Mm. Until I'm just a head in a jar, connected to some wires. Oh, he's got a kitty cat chair. Hastamate. Why are all the vowels missing? Did you like the taste? <laughs> I still got my legs cut off. Lol. Uroboros. All right, fine. What if I what if I nom upon myself? What I'm like, give me give me that delicious espoir leg meat. <laughs> Despite the intense, hazy feeling that comes over you in waves, you can taste how good the meat is. How good your meat is. Your raw flesh and fat, now served to you topped in seasonings and a mouth-watering savory sauce that blinks, brings out your rich flavors that now spread across every inch of your tongue! How dare you! What do you think? It's... It's beautiful, Song Min. He smiles knowingly at you. I'm so happy that you like it. You've said the same thing all the other times, too. Ah, I'm getting ahead of myself. You probably don't remember. Mm. So, wait, Song Min, where, where did you get this chair? Where did you get this IV drip? You can't afford this kind of stuff. That's why you were looking for a roommate. Sir! Your body deserves more than just that, don't you think? Just enjoy it, Espoir. Everything is under control. At least you put a little little heart heart carpet underneath me. Should put some newspapers down, maybe. Seems like a lot of blood you gotta clean up now. I can't help you with it. I got no legs. Wrong. My name is actually... X-50 Ultron. X-50 Ultron. Ultron. So, since I did not cook him the human meat, that shirt, I can't stop looking at that shirt. Uh, you can't eat me because I'm not human. I'm actually not human. Huh? I'm. I'm. X-50 Ultron. Did you forget? I'm X-50 Ultron! See, it says so right my name tag. Ah, uh, right. Totally not human. And you only eat human meat, right? Well, yeah. Mm. I guess that makes sense. Am I actually gonna get out of this alive? 
Sung Min slowly gets up and helps you do the same. Sorry, X50 Ultron. You just smelled so delicious. I've kind of lost it. Hey, no worries. We're good now, though. Right? Yeah. Mm. I'm still very hungry, though. So I'll have to cook some human meat. Right. Can you fetch my glasses for me while I cook, please? I left them somewhere in the bathroom. Did being X-50 Ultron save my life? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Appreciate it. You watch Sung Min walk over to the freezer to, you guess, get some human meat. You thank your past self a thousand times for coming up with this stupid gag. Something tells you that if not for your new name, you would have probably taken the place of whomever it is in that freezer. Yeah. While you are lost in your thoughts, Sung Min already starts frying human meat. A familiar smell brings you back to reality. Pork. It smells just like pork. The similarity is kind of disturbing. Seems like it's your cue to get out and find those glasses for him, hmm? Cute. <laughs> Adorable. Well, I'm glad I got to play this game at least a little tiny bit more. I really like this game. I like Sung Min. <laughs> oh. it, this game is the perfect mix of horror and horribleness and silliness and memes. I love it. <laughs> but if you would like to try this game for yourself, there is a link in the description of this video. And if you had a lot of fun here, feel free to like or subscribe or interact in any way that is comfortable for you. And I would really appreciate the subscription because we're trying to make it to 100,000 subscribers. I know it's possible. I feel it in my bones that is now in Song Min's mouth. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself. Have a great night. And remember, there is always hope.